guys, and welcome back to another episode of Broken Image Reviews, starring your host, Broken Image. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Radio Master TX-12. Just got this in the mail from Banggood. One little thing I want to note about Banggood is I ordered this radio in November, the end of November of 2021. I just got this radio in today, January 18th, 2022. The reason why the shipping took so long wasn't because Banggood shipping is whenever they ship, it's coming from China. So I live in the U.S. It's going to take a couple weeks to ship. I get that. I understand how that works. Normally, the shipping is a couple weeks and yeah, but the reason why this one took so long is because whenever they have the product listed on Banggood's site, it said in stock, but it wasn't in stock. And whenever I contacted Banggood customer service, and don't get me wrong, Banggood customer service has been excellent. Every time I talk to them, they're, it's really good customer service. They changed some stuff in my order that maybe changed and it got to me really good. So um, after I ordered it, they were able to replace the item and all that stuff. So that was amazing but uh they said whenever you order a product and it shows in stock on their listings if it's a hot item a lot of times that doesn't update enough so it might say in stock but it's already been out of stock for for a good bit so that was the problem that i ran into and whenever i ordered it they actually charge your bank account so you order the item now you can cancel your order if the item comes available on another site and you want to buy it there but it's you know a big process and it would help out a lot if they just put it out there that it's not in stock to where you don't you don't buy it now there's a lot of times they do but in this situation it said in stock i got it and i finally got it in so yeah, we're gonna be reviewing this uh, this little guy today, and uh, I am going to put Edge TX on it, but it's not gonna be in this video. I'm gonna make a separate video about Edge TX, putting Edge TX on your radio. Um, I'm also gonna install my ELRS module on it. I got the ELRS module in here, right here. This is the 2.4 gigahertz ELRS module I'm gonna install on this radio. And this little guy, this is for another episode. This is just a little teaser. This little guy right here, I don't know if you guys could see that, but this little guy right here is going to replace that little guy right there. And this thing is probably about like, it's smaller than my thumbnail. So uh, it's probably about as big as my pinky nail. Yeah, it's a super, super small RX. A receiver and it's the um, Express LRS 2.4 gigahertz uh, receiver from Happy Model. This is the EP2. They have an EP1. I hear the EP1's better. It has better firmware on it, but we're going to make sure this is updated with the latest firmware and get all that on there too. So, so yeah, but right now in this video, we're going to be going over this. We're unboxing this and I'm going to be uh, just pretty doing the first initial setups. It's already have OpenTX on it, so we're going to go and get this all set up the in initially and then in a later video i'm gonna set it up the rest so yeah let's jump right into it guys all right guys let's go ahead and open up this radio master tx12 the box came kind of banged up a little bit i haven't opened it yet this is my first time unboxing it and this camera is super close because this box is huge but let's go ahead and open this top like this but uh okay so this is oops super loud here is the tx12 it already has op open tx on it um this little screen i am it's it feels good in my hands it's a small radio and the gimbals these are not hall gimbals um but the gimbals they feel pretty good like this the sticks feel pretty good moving them around like uh grabbing onto it initially you have little switch toggles up here you got, uh, the, all of these are three position uh, switches. Uh, there's A, B, C, and D. Um, I don't know. It's not A, B, C, and D. It's A, B, C, D, E, F. There you go. 
and then uh, yeah so and then this is your screen down here um i do have i need to get those batteries out of my bag i do have a couple of uh 18650 batteries that's what charges powers this up but you could get a 2s battery to power this up as well and it has a module bay this is the micro for like micro uh modules um it's the the biggest bay they have for it. It's not like uh, the nano for the nano modules. It's micro. I, I, I don't remember what the bay is called. Anyways, but yeah, this is the bay that you stick that I'm going to be sticking my ELRS module in here. So, uh, so yeah, it's got a little handle, which is plastic, and little grips here for uh, for your hands whenever you're holding on to it. Um, it's not a handle. It's a handle and a stand. So you can kind of put it like this too on a surface. It's got a little sp spot here to put your lanyard your power button, your, your sys key, your uh, model model key, is that what that is? M -O -M -O -D -M -D -L? Yeah, I think so. Um, and all these little buttons right here. But uh, yeah, we'll get into all of that uh, later. I'll have to, because I don't know much about the radio, like actually getting into the Lewis script or anything like that. I've got to learn all that stuff before I tell you guys about it. <laughs> so once I learn it, I will make a video about it and I'll tell you guys what what uh what what i what i figured out about it so uh so yeah oh uh, before we open up the battery bay up here is the this is your dsc port this is the uh a trainer port that you could use to uh, i think you could hook this up to your simulators or you could hook another radio up to it and you could actually fly another drone around with someone that does not have to fly drones and both of your radios will be linked to that drone so, uh, so yeah, then your USB port here, and this is your where your antenna goes. And it has a nice little warning on here that says, please install antenna before powering on the radio. So, yeah, so we'll go ahead and install it now so we don't forget. And it's super, super, super easy. You just put this on here and turn it. Wah. But uh, so this is a multi-protocol radio. It's D8 and D16. And I don't think it's going to... Turning anymore. Yep, that's just turning. Huh. I'm wasting my time. Yeah, it's D8 and D16 protocols. It's multi-protocol radio. And uh the actual <clears throat> the actual protocols I'm not going to be using inside the radio. I, I won't even be using this antenna because the bay, the module bay that I'm gonna put on here, the LRS module, I'm gonna be using that that and it's going to talk to my Lewis script in here. So uh so yeah, uh that's what I'll be using whenever I update this. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get some batteries and power this on and see see what happens. See if it's got some voice, uh, like uh, the voice uh, commands and everything like that. So, all right. So, pop this out like that. I got a little um, battery tray right here and it plugs in right here and you can just stick that back in there. So, you have to actually make sure which way the positive and negatives go. So this positive is negative. Some of these 18650 batteries, we're going to take this little thing off. But some of these 18650 batteries do not have the actual uh, thing right here on your positive. So you really have to make sure if you have those batteries that are just flat on both ends to make sure which side is positive and which side is negative. So that's just something that you might have to. Mine have the little, it looks just like a double A AA or triple A but it's just a little bit bigger. So I don't even know if I have to take this off. No, it's sticky. I should probably take off this warning. Maybe maybe, maybe I shouldn't. What's it say? Ensure 1860 cells are in the correct way. Installing incorrectly. Yeah. So yeah, let's see if it actually fits down in here. Um, plus. Yeah, maybe we just tear off this warning. So just, oh, there we go. Just pulls right off. <laughs> okay. So yeah, make sure they're there. That's all it says. Make sure they're in the right way. So that's our negative and positive like this. This goes in here like that. And this side, that's our negative and positive like this. Oh, sorry. So negative and positive. I was looking at it outside the camera. So let, I'll take this out just to show you guys. So crap. All right. So this is negative and that's positive. That's negative and that's positive. So we're gonna install it like this. Just push that in there like you do any AA batteries. 
And then that's positive and that's negative. So that's positive and that's negative. So we're going to install this like that. Like that. So our batteries are in here. They're both, uh, they're oriented the right way. And they're 18650. I use, here we'll flip this around so you can see the actual batteries I use. I actually got these batteries off Amazon um, with the flashlight. So that was kind of cool. Uh, I got 5,800 milliamp hours. Um, they're rechargeable and I got a little beta recharge mat. So yeah, so there's the batteries. And what we are going to do is we're going to make sure this is plugged in right here. Oh yeah, SD card. We need an SD card to put in here. Anyways, let's just go ahead and do this. So uh, put this back here in the module bay. And I think, I don't even remember how it goes. I think it should fit in here. This, like that, yeah. Yeah, that's how it's gonna go. And you just plug that in right here. And put the plug in like this. There we go. So now it's on, cables down, and put it up like that. All right, so now we got that in, and let's go ahead and power this on. Butt in. Come on. And this is a Mode 2 radio. Switch warning. Please push all those switches up. There we go. And yeah, so it doesn't have the... I, I, I haven't updated the... Because I don't have... I don't have an SD card in there, so I can't get the uh, sound to work yet because I haven't updated it. But uh, eventually, I'm going to do that, and it's 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 going to work that way. So what you do is you press here on system, I think. Okay, modes. So it already has some pre. Uh, it already has some modes already installed in here. So they say not to mess with those modes. Just go ahead and. If you want to, you could scroll through them and go to this bottom one and create a model. I mean, modes. Go to this one and, and do a model on that and create uh, another model. So this one would where I would start an ELRS model right here. But, uh, but yeah, so that's the, that's the radio right there, man. Uh, I really like it. And also, I got these little grips for it from uh race day quads they got some grips uh all different colors i got the purple style grips i know like i kind of do like the red and white uh theme on my channel but i don't know the purple just looked like super good like in my opinion um so i just i got those grips and i might put them on i might not we will see how it actually looks I don't know what y'all think. If I should put the... Oh, that's, that doesn't go there. That would probably go over here. Or this guy right here. Yeah. I don't know what y'all think. If I should put on the grips or leave the grips off. Or put on a different color grips. Because I think they have all different colors. Like red, blue. Um, but yeah, so I got these. And it's like super, super glittery. Super glittery. I might put them on. I think that will like that gives it a little bit of custom... Yeah, I'm going to put on these grips. But yeah, so uh, that is the uh, Radio Master TX-12, guys. And once I get this all updated with all the firmware, I will plug it in to my quad, and we will get a new uh, receiver on my TinyGo and fly that with this in ELRS, and we will fly other things. All right, guys, <laughs> we're back with my TX-12 by Radio Master. Um, I've done a little, little bit of customization to this little guy, uh, yeah, over the, over the last 24 hours. So I told you guys that I was going to update this and then get back with you guys on the update. It took a lot longer than what I was planning on it being. I thought it was just going to be an easy little update, put the ELRS module in the back and it's going to just be go... It's going to just go smoothly and everything, but it did not. And I can 
make a video on how to do it because it is very, very, uh, like I, I ran into a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of things. So like, uh, yeah, if you don't know, it, you could, you could brick your ELRS and I was scared of that. I stayed up so late last night, like in the morning, I've got like three hours of sleep almost. And, uh, yeah, so um, I'm just going to bring down here, it'll bring the video down here so you guys can see actually this radio whenever it's powered on. And you uh, you can see what I actually did to this radio and uh, how it's been updated. So let's go back down to the radio. Hi right, guys, so here's the radio. This is the TX-12 by Radio Master. Um, I've done a little bit of customizations to it. Uh, as you can see, my little grip tape around here and I put my stickers uh, sticker over the, the, the speaker right here, over the Radio Master. I got a little bit, missed a little bit right there. But put my sticker over that, and then my broken image sticker right here, and all that stuff. So it's got this grip tape around here. I think it's really cool. It's super sparkly. I didn't, I wasn't expecting it to be that sparkly, but it holds holds my, my hands on here too. They have all different kinds of colors, so I might switch this out for a different color. We'll see, but they're like, it's 10 bucks. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, off of Race Day Quads to get this little grip tape. If you guys plan on getting this radio, you could kind of like style it up to where it's it actually holds uh, holds pretty well on your on your hands. So um so yeah um I did that I customized that I actually took my gimbals off of the um, Tiny Go radio the Tiny Go GR8 radio and I put them on here my little red and red stick ends. So uh, it's still the original gimbals in this radio, which they're not hall gimbals. But uh, I put my red stick-ins on it because I think they look look a lot better than the black ones on there. And I switched the black ones and put them on my on my uh, GR8 radio. So yeah, if you flip this guy over, I'll show you over here on the back what it looks like. Um, this is the ELRS 2.4 gigahertz uh, module by Happy Model. Um, it does not have a fan. It's got a spot you could put a fan in here. You could see where you could mount the screws right there on the inside. And there's plugs up on the board inside to power the fan. So, uh, but the module is powered by the battery inside the radio. Um, and yeah, it was, it took a lot to put this, to, to get all this stuff updated and talking to each other. It was, it was crazy. So, um, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll go over that here in a little bit on, on how that I'll just do like an overview. I'm not going to go into beta fly or go into any of the ELRS little configurators, but you need all that stuff to do it. Um, I'll just tell you guys what I went through. So um, maybe if you guys want me to make a video on that, I can. But it would be a very long video because there's a whole bunch of stuff that needs to be covered in that video. So but if you guys want a video like that, I can make a video. It's cool. Um, all right. So, yeah, that was the module in the back. And what you do to turn this on, I've got batteries in here. You press this button, you hold it in. And it powers up. Welcome to HTX. And as you can see. Oh, switch warning. Where's my switches at? Push them all down. Armed. Nope, we don't want it to be armed. Okay, so all my switches are pushed up. And uh, yeah, so my throttle's down. If you have your throttle up like this, well, hold on. If we turn this on, let's turn this back off. Go to sleep. If I had a throttle up and this switch down, watch this. Throttle warning. Switch warning. Switch warning. So, yeah, everything's good. Um, so, yeah, if you noticed, it does say Edge TX. I updated the firmware on this to Edge TX instead of Open TX. Uh, it's a little bit better. Um, it, it's pretty much the same thing, but they're doing more updates on Edge TX, Open TX. I kind of like stopped updating that. So to make the move to Edge TX, I think was a good move. And there's plenty of videos out there. Josh Bardwell has a good uh, good playlist on how to do that on your radios. So uh, so yeah, that's um, that's I, I can leave a link in the description for that one as well. But uh, but yeah, so this is the open screen. I've got it for the Crux 35 right here. Um, that's the only thing I have set up on my radio so far. But if you click on the model right here, you hold the model button in. Um, as you can see, I have Crux 35 set. All these others right here, these were already pre-installed into 
the uh, the radio. Um, TX-12, that's just the basic. Then you got quad and delta. Um, they had a heli one, but I, I didn't need that. So I, I didn't use, use that model for this radio. But yeah, so I used the Crux 35. So well, we don't have to do that. This is the back button right here. So you press the back button. And then you can do page over. And uh, yeah, so I've got a timer for my throttle. So once I uh, engage my throttle, it starts the three minute timer. And then after the three minute timer, I land. So my batteries don't don't draw down. But my these batteries have been, they draw down a lot faster than three minutes. Um, so yeah, so I got uh, all these are the timers right here. Um, this is just all, all the different things. So whenever you first get this radio, and you want to do ELRS, what you have to do is you have to go down here into the setup on your model and uh, internal RF right here, you set to off. External RF, you set to crossfire because this uh, module back here, um, the radio talks it like it would a crossfire module. So, uh, so yeah, you set that to crossfire and then that's pretty much all you have to do right there to link your, ra uh, your to get your uh, radio to acknowledge that it has something in the JR Bay and that's what it needs to talk to on this model. So uh, if we go back here um, and go over right here, these are all my inputs for my uh, for my sticks and stuff. This These are my stick inputs, uh, uh, pitch roll, yaw, and uh, thr uh, uh, sh throttle. And then right here, I've got arm. This is my arm, but, uh, arm uh, input. Then I got mode, which is over here. It switches to modes. And then I have my beeper, which is right here, but I don't have an actually outside beeper. So the, the beeper won't engage if the battery is not uh, plugged up. And then that's my crash flip mode. I have actually crash flip installed. Oh yeah, so that's all my inputs on that. And this is in your model section. You have to put those in your model to actually get them to talk to your drone in beta flight. So, uh, so yeah, all this stuff you really don't need. I've got a volume for my arm switch right here. So if I arm it, I could click this and make that checkbox and it would say armed. So, uh, so yeah, so that's your, that's your model. And then there's your RSSI and all, all those values right there. Um, but that's stuff you really don't really need to, uh, to worry about. But, uh, so if we go back to our main screen right here and we hold in the sys key, I've got Express LRS right here. So uh, all of this stuff, these this tools folder is on my SD card. And you have to get your Lua file and put it in your tools folder on your SD card once you um, once you format your SD card for your radio. And you click this Express LRS and you could go in to, this is the uh, version 2.0, 2.0.1. Um, uh, Express LRS. So when you first get this Express LRS module, the module I got, um, it comes shipped with version one. So you have to get version one Lua script to talk to the Express LRS to update it over Wi-Fi. And once you update it over Wi-Fi, you uh, like right here, it's a Wi-Fi connectivity. Once you update it over Wi-Fi and you update your, ex your Express LRS to version two, because you have to you have to build it in uh, the configurator, and I I built it in the configurator. I put the file on my computer, and then I updated this over Wi-Fi, and I updated the the module. Now, if you have version one Lua script, it's not going to talk to version two module. Like whenever you update the firmware, so you have to update to version two Lua script once you update the the firmware in your module. And I didn't do that. I thought I bricked it, but I went onto the Discord server for ELRS, and they were like super super helpful, and they helped me out, and I got it working fine to to fly my to fly my drone around. But yeah, so in here you could actually switch your power. Um, let's see up here. You got your power right here. I'm on. 50 milliwatts. So if I click on this, you can go up to 100 milliwatts. That's probably what I want to do. I was on 50 milliwatts when I was on the bench. That gives your, that's how much power this, uh, this module is talking to your receiver on your drone. So you go up to 100 milliwatts and go back like that. And there we go. So yeah, that's, uh, and then you press the bind button right here to get your uh, radio in bind mode. And you have to go into beta flight on your drone if you have the SPI uh, receiver. 
and and sit that into bind mode and you could have your radio and your drone talk to each other that way and get them bound up so yeah that is the Exp express lrs lewis script right here whenever you get in so if you don't have express lrs what you would do is you would pretty much your script would actually be inside the radio so like whenever you click on the model like this and like see how i've got it on crux this is where your script would be on the on the radio but i i don't i don't use the radio i use my jr base so i i actually have to go into my script over here and express lrs right there and it loads it right up so yeah that is the radio guys that's express lrs in it 2.0 it's uh it's a pretty good protocol i'm excited about it it's 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 awesome and whenever i actually get my tiny go i get the receiver on my tiny go what i would do is i would go back here let's hold this because i can i'd go back here to models and i would make another model right here for my tiny go and i would make it the express lrs and it would talk to my tiny go whenever i'm clicked on that model but right now it's going to be talking to my crux 35 because this is this is the this is the model that i have set for my crux 35 so yep uh that is the radio guys oh another thing i was meaning to mention too whenever you first get this radio you're not going to have any voice commands so what you'll need to do is you'll need to go on to the um github page and get the whole sd card um the sd card files for your radio you have to get the voice files and all that stuff once you load them up onto your sd card and you put your sd card in here after it's been formatted then it will talk to you like you'll be able to power this on and talk but i got all my sd card files for edge tx because i upgraded to edge tx i didn't even do anything with open tx i upgraded to edge tx you have to upgrade your sd card files and your firmware on this radio to edge tx and once I did that and I had the SD card files on there, it uh, it had the, all the audio cues on there as well. So, uh, so yeah, guys, I really like this radio. I'm really excited about it. It was a headache getting all that stuff together. It took me all night to do. Oh, my gosh, it was so bad. But uh, I'm glad I got it all figured out. And if you want me to go through all of those steps on the computer, I can do that. I can do that for you guys. And uh, that way... If you guys come across any of those problems, uh, you'll be able you'll be able to to know how to fix it if you're dealing with the same um, the same module as I am. It's the ES24 um, TX module, um, the 2.4 gigahertz by Happy model, Express LRS module. So uh, so yeah, guys. Oh, and another thing too, uh, when you do have this module, don't take this antenna off. Still leave your antenna on because when you power this on. Um, if you're not in this module and you say you switch to another one by accident, this antenna, um, it could fry your, fry your, uh, your controller if you don't have this, if you don't have something plugged up to it. So just make sure you plug up your antenna to this controller. Uh, you always have that antenna plugged up to it. But yeah, guys, uh, thanks for hanging out. And like, you know, I say every time guys, um, I do this every day. Well, not every day, but I do this regularly. I make videos. Look forward to more of this in the future. Look forward to all of it in the future. So, uh, so yeah, guys, thanks for hanging out. Y'all have a good one.